and welcome to the third video of AFP Gaming. You might be wondering why it's kind of heat vision looking type stuff. Well, it's actually in honor of the game that I'm going to be playing and showing you today. Uh, it's called Dying Light. Many of you already have it, but I'm going to show you how to get the two best weapons in the game, which are going to be the Coric Machete and also the EXP Caliber. And Cameo! Drop a like for the baby. Baby's awesome. <laughs> Hope you guys like it. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more game videos, and enjoy. Okay. So, first things first, um, I'm going to show you guys the location of the EXP caliber on the map, in case you want to just kind of skip through the video and go there. I'll be starting from the tower that, you know, you start from. <laughs> and you want to go to this little island right here. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to get there. Uh, I would recommend placing a waypoint, but I know where I'm going, so I just kind of didn't. Um, a little bit of info about the EXP caliber itself. Um, it is a two-handed sword. It is very, very powerful. Um, the, the only thing is that you can't repair it. I know with other weapons you can repair them if they get damaged, um, because they become ineffective, but the reason why you can't repair it is because it really never becomes ineffective. It still works just as well, it just looks really beat up, but in a zombie apocalypse it's, you know, kind of hard not to <laughs> beat up your weapon. But, um, it still works perfectly fine. Just don't throw it, because if you throw it, then it's no good to you because you can't pick it up. <laughs> Uh, this house I actually just kind of added in as like a little bonus for you guys. Um, in this house there's actually a zombie statue that you can collect if, you know, you want to collect all the zombie statues, that's where one is. Um, but this is actually how you know you're getting close. You see these little uh, houses to your left, a little group of zombies, and then you just kind of climb up these rocks and you will find the island right there. And you just kind of got to swim across. I, I remember first pl first playing, I thought, you know, the water would kill you, but it doesn't. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so you just kind of jump right in. Um, once you pull it out of the ground, because it's kind of like the sword and the stone, you know, that's like the theme, I guess, they went for it. Uh, you also get the blueprint for it, which I'll show you guys. And I'll tell you the story of when I picked it up myself. Um, but... I I tried to remake it, I guess, as soon as I realized that you can't really repair the sword. And, it, I mean, you can remake it, but it's just not the same. It's not of legendary, because when you make it, it's a, it's pretty basic, you know, it's gray or whatever instead of the gold. But uh, here it is. You'll find it stabbed into a zombie by some random hero. Um... If you look at it, it is actually a really nice sword. And I collect swords, so I know craftsmanship. <laughs> at least digital craftsmanship. But uh, you got to hold it down for a couple of minutes, and uh, I'll show you just a quick time jump. And it takes about two minutes, or three. Like I said, just two or three minutes, and your guy just kind of pulls it out of the ground. And uh, then you get the experience points from it and then you can well it, the blueprint popped up automatically for me but usually you just kind of wait um i would recommend jumping on this higher rock because a little fire starts in the heart of the zombie or whatever and um i, I was standing there the first time <laughs> and i didn't know and i'm looking at the pause menu like trying to build the the exp caliber or looking at the damage and stuff and i totally combust into flames which is <laughs> not a fun thing to do and i was playing with other with other players online so i thought they threw a molotov at me so i was like yelling at one player like no you threw it and then the other person didn't have a mic so i messaged them like seriously you threw a molotov at me i get you a legendary weapon or whatever but yeah and uh as you can see there's the blueprint i already picked it up so i can't uh, pick it up twice and get it out of the screen view, but uh, now you have the EXP caliber, and next we'll show you the Coric Machete. Alright, and I started again back at the at the tower. Uh, map view, 
it's going to be just in this direction. I actually put a waypoint to the exact location of it. It's going to be on top of a building, and I'll kind of show you uh, landmarks to get you there, like when you're close or when you know you're close. So let us be on our way, shall we? Okay, so I wanted to show you guys just how powerful the EXP Caliber is, so I decided to face this guy. So, um, it ultimately took two charged, or sorry, three charged hits from the EXP Caliber to take this guy down. Um, if it wasn't for those guys getting in my way, it would have looked a lot better, but there you go, three hits and this guy goes down. It's not bad. Anyway, um, so one landmark you can use is this, uh, I call it a Walmart because it's, I think it's basically like the Haran's Walmart or whatever. You can hear a guy announcing stuff. And uh, I wanted to show you the charge hit on a regular zombie. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, another landmark that you can use just after the Walmart or whatever you want to call it um, is actually the antenna that you do a mission on. I think the guy's name is uh, Alexi. It's a guy and his son. And uh, that's where you'd go. And it's actually that building right there. It's really, really close. And I totally fail getting on top of it. <laughs> so, sorry about that. But I will definitely make up for it by showing you guys a total, totally awesome uh, glitch that uh, is actually in the game. Uh, just gotta climb to the top. I'll show you. It's really cool. Alright, you just gotta climb up here, and then as soon as you jump off... I'm just kidding. <laughs> that doesn't actually happen. I just, like, failed miserably again at getting to the top. But, uh, those are your surroundings, and, uh, in this little box, or whatever, that's where the Coric Machete blueprint is, and you have to repeatedly kick it, and your guy gets about as frustrated as I was, because you have to kick it a lot. Anyway, eventually it opens up and uh, Crane will, you know, do his Crane thing. You pick up the blueprint and then you can make it. Um, these are actually the requirements for the blueprints as soon as I get to them. Um, the Cork Machete, I believe, is just kind of alcohol and metal. And then that's the stuff for the EXP caliber. Like I said, when you remake it, it's not that great. But the Cork Machete, since there is no original Cork Machete, you obviously have to make your Cork Machete. And if you'll excuse my brain fart on the fact that I had to make one, uh, I'll make one and kind of show you guys the two weapons and just how good they are versing a couple of zombies, you know, just here and there. Not a big boss, unfortunately, but it's, uh, it's, I figured you guys would want to see at least some gameplay on it, so, um, and I just jumped down, hit a couple of zombies with the EXP caliber, and then I'll show you a group with the Cork Machete.
something came in the mail today. What? These nuts? <laughs> Got him.